Welcome back to our channel, Cape Cod Like a Local. Today we're going to talk about 21 responsibilities of a trustee. Uh, it's a big responsibility being a trustee for an estate, and it's one that uh, definitely should be taken very seriously. Uh, it takes a lot of um, organization and making sure that everything's done properly and that you're always working in the best interest of the estate so that you don't end up with problems later on. Uh, first and foremost, we also understand this is a very, very difficult time. Many times uh, the trustee has lost the most important person in the world or a loved one. So it's uh, it, the easiest way to alleviate some of that is by being prepared, being organized. So the first thing you need to do is acquire enough uh, death certificates because you'll have to use them to close out accounts. So generally we recommend 10 to 20 death certificates uh, you know, depending on how many accounts the deceased had. Generally, you'll be working with an attorney, but when you get the trust, study the trust and, you know, and, and make a copy and make notes and ask an attorney. You always want to make sure you're doing everything by the letter of the law and following the instruction of, instructions of the trust. So study it and then ask an attorney just to clarify anything that's not quite certain. Next, you've got to obtain records of accounts, investment accounts, bank accounts, all the different uh, insurances, things like that. And you've got to look to see if any of them have a beneficiary designated, but really learn what all the accounts are and learn if there's anything in there that how they have to be handled. Number four is obtain all the records of the debts, every account they have, any bills that are owed, student debt, mortgages, car payments, utilities. You need to be very uh, sure that you're getting all that debt paid off. Number five is obtain copies of all of the insurances, life insurance, health insurance, long-term care, homeowners, auto. Uh, you really need to know that if there are any benefits due to the estate or uh, you also just need to know that you've, you've got everything closed out at the end of this process. Number six, contact the social security uh, department. You, you wanna make sure that they know that this person has passed, there may be a death benefit due there. And you also want to get on their master list, master death list, because that will prevent people. Many times the bad guys will see that someone's passed. They'll go in and steal their identity and create all kinds of problems that you'll probably be involved in cleaning up. So the best thing to do is as quickly as possible, alert the Social Security Administration and get that person's name put on the master death list. You're going to want to get your uh, the death certificates and contact the three major credit reporting agencies. Again, once they know this person is deceased, it'll be very difficult for one of the bad guys to uh, steal their identity. You're going to have to contact all of the utilities and make sure that there are no past uh, you know past due bills, and then you also want to know that you can close them out on a certain date so that when this is all settled, there's no problem there, you don't owe them anything, and the account is closed permanently. Number nine, go to the post office and have all mail forward to the executor or the administrator of the estate. Number 10, contact any governmental agencies that are necessary, VA might be necessary, uh, anything that you believe any government agency you think needs to be in the know, you're gonna have to contact them as well. Number 11, contact the Department of Motor Vehicles. You're going to have to cancel uh, insurances and plates and registrations and transfer maybe a registration if, if there's a car being left to someone else uh, and just make sure that that's all closed out as well. Number 12, if the deceased company has uh, an employee benefits department, you may want to contact them to see if there's anything due to help uh, with the estate or cash benefits or things like that. Number 13, you need to inventory a list of assets, both tangible and intangible. Uh, really go through the home and document everything that's there and then control that environment, change the locks. Many, many times we've seen um, you know, a, a relative or a loved one or someone who felt like they deserved something go in and, and really take a lot of valuables or take things they had no business taking. So it's good to control that environment and you know document everything and then keep it under lock and key until the time comes to disperse personal items and things like that 
Number 14, close all their email, website, and uh, social media accounts. 15, cancel all club and association memberships. Number 16, if they're a property owner, you need to uh, have a time of death appraisal done on the property. That'll be very important uh, in case they might be capital gains tax due. Number 17, contact the CPA, gather last two years tax returns, uh, get an EIN number, and file a return for the estate taxes. Number 18, contact their financial planner. Uh, and not just to see what's there, but to see what's the best way to move forward uh, to limit tax liability and uh, undue expense, unnecessary expenses. Number 19, contact a real estate planner like us, uh, someone that's really experienced in dealing with estates and trusts and um, work out a game plan, get a value of the property, uh, really learn what the process should look like for uh, selling or transferring properties. Number 20 would be to communicate, educate, and resolve any disputes between beneficiaries. And once you've made it this far, number 21 is to distribute the assets. Again, it's very important to know everything you need to do. This is a pretty good list. I don't know if it's all encompassing and things may vary by state, but this is a really, really comprehensive list to get you started. And uh, if you have any questions or there's any way we can help or guide you to the right resources, local CPAs, investment advisors, and uh, attorneys, don't hesitate to call. So we hope this helps if you're in the unfortunate situation of being a trustee. And uh, again, we're here to help in any way we can. And we'll see you next week.